Money don't drink tea. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with 10 things you should never say to an Aussie. Before we dive in, y'all know I need y'all to smack that subscribe button, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. I rock with my guy Isaac, so let's see what we got. What's the point of us spending this money if you're not going to use it, you fucking dickheads? Hilarious! Well done, sir! Australian of the Year goes to that man. G'day, ladies and gentlemen, the butts man here. Now, let's have a look at 10 things you should never say to a true blue Aussie. But before we do that, we have a sponsor for this video. It's me. I'm sponsoring my own fucking video. That's how good I am. Ladies and gentlemen, Melbourne and Sydney, I'm coming your way in a couple of weeks' time. The Melbourne International Comedy Festival. And Sydney, I'm filming a special right there on the 1st of February. It's this fucking week when this is being released. Holy shit. Get your tickets down below. It's going to be fucking insane. Number one. Don't That's you dope. ever fucking tell me to throw a shrimp on the barbie, dickhead. Australians <laughs> run around throwing bloody bubba gum shrimp on their barbecues out the back while they enjoy a couple of years. You are a complete fucking idiot. Once you spend any time down under, you'll learn quick, bloody smart that shrimp don't fucking exist. No one's ever called shrimp, shrimp. <laughs> You racist fuck! They're called. <laughs> Dang, this is how heated y'all get when somebody tell you to throw a shrimp on a Barbie. <laughs> this, this, this is this how heated it gets. I love my guy Bubba Gump. He loved all kinds of shrimp, man. Bubba Gump was a legend. Prawns, dickhead! Get it right or get fucked. Number two. A dingo ate my baby. If you think it's funny to put on an Australian accent and say, Oh, crikey, a dingo ate my baby. Well, you're a piece of shit, mate. Because that actually happened, allegedly. That actually what? happened in the outback near Alice Springs back in the day. It was a fucking national tragedy. No way. You don't see Australians putting shit on Americans by saying, Hey, a school shooter shot me recess. We don't... I knew it was good. I knew he'd say that. I knew he'd say that. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> when he said America, I knew exactly what was coming. Do that shit, so don't you fucking do it to us, cockhead. Number yeah. three, anything negative about Steve Irwin. You listen here. Yeah, you don't say anything negative about Steve Irwin to, to, to any American, Australian, German, Canadian, Mexican, to any ants. <laughs> Uh, and I don't think there's a person on earth who didn't like Steve Irwin. He was one of the greatest human beings to ever live. You ignorant fuckface. If you think you're going to take his name in vain or use a stingray in the same sentence as his name, well, I've got another thing coming for you, mm. mate. I'll tell you what will bloody happen. As soon as you step foot in customs in Australia, we'll drop a fucking drop bear on your head, you dickhead, and you'll be fucking gone. Number four. <laughs> Anything negative about Vegemite. If Steve Irwin is... I, I, this is one that I would... I, some Australians don't like me for. Or probably just joking with me. But y'all, this is this stuff isn't good. <laughs> and if it comes from Marmite, it, Marmite isn't good. If it's similar to Marmite, then Marmite isn't good. Uh, this, yeah, it's just... Mm -mm. is a god of Australia, then Vegemite is the food of the gods. It has more yeast than the Australian female cricket team <laughs> on a tour of Bangladesh <laughs> in the pristine <laughs> fucking heat. And that's a lot of yeast, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you right now. Sure, you may have seen some people eat it out of a spoon. Well, let me tell you this. The reason they are repelling in disgust and freaking out about the taste of the Vegemite is because that's not how you fucking eat it, you fucking idiot. You spread it lightly and enjoy the yeasty pink, I don't know, all that type of shit that I spoke about earlier with the underpants and stuff. You don't shove it in your mouth like a big old spoon and a telly, you fucking ignorant cocksucker. Number five, never ask an Australian for a Foster's beer. In modern times in the world, assuming someone's gender is a very despicable thing to do. But yes. when you come to Australia, if you assume that us Australians drink Foster's beer, then ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this right now, from one Aussie to millions of others, that person can fuck right off. No Australian has ever touched a Foster's in their lives. Do you want to know what it tastes like? Well, do you? Yes. Come here, come here, come on. I'll tell you what it tastes like. Dunno, dickhead. Now, fuck off. <laughs> You want to know what it tastes like from here? I'll tell you what it tastes like. 
Don't know. <laughs> Dang. Y'all, so yeah, is it because of the stereotype that y'all drink Aussies that are, are fosters? <laughs> that y'all have grown to just hate fosters? You just, y'all tasted the fosters and was like, bro, this is absolute trash. It's disgusting. And where did the stereotype come from that y'all do drink fosters? Why do why does everybody supposed to think that? Asking a true blue Aussie if they've subscribed to this particular YouTube channel. Because of course everyone subscribed to this YouTube channel. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah. We're gonna reach a million subscribers by my birthday on the 14th of July. Get it done right now. Number it six. Great. Do you ride a kangaroo? Every single person across the why world, would they every ask that? foreigner, seems to think that us Aussies jump on the back of marsupials. <laughs> Just to get around our great country. Listen, bitch, we got Uber. We've got cars, we got buses, we got jet skis, we got other shit. Why the fuck would we jump on the back of some motherfucker that just bounces around and is smaller than your average human? It doesn't work mechanically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, the closest we happen to get to these beautiful national icons is when a fucking bull bar hits the motherfucker because they're too fucking stupid to move out of the way of a car. I mean, how fucking dumb can you be? Standing there staring at a bloody car. How many cars have you seen? You know how your uncle, your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother, your father, they all died on the road, on the highway because they got hit by a fucking big car. Here's a hot tip, kangaroo man. Don't fucking stand in front of cars, you cockhead. Number seven. That, that makes sense. It makes sense. Kangaroos, get it together. Get it together. Yeah, Australia's nice, but I prefer New Zealand. You fucking what? <laughs> sure. New Zealand's got some amazing features on their mm. homeland. Hmm. Lord of the Rings, etc., etc. But let me just explain this to you. Explain really, it. Really quickly and quite bluntly. New Zealand mm. is Australia's little brother. And mm. by that I mean every single person in New Zealand fucks sheep. Do you want to go to a country where they sexually attack sheep? No. No one does. Fuck New Zealand. Fuck them to the moon. Number eight. Do your toilets... Flush counterclockwise. Uh, okay? We've heard this a lot. We've seen it uh, on The Simpsons that apparently in Australia, the toilets flush counterclockwise. Who gives a fuck which yeah, way? I, I would not care at all. And that wouldn't be. Your shit spins before it leaves the toilet and floats out into the ocean. Who gives a fuck? If you're traveling across the country for 12, 15, 18, 24 hours in an aeroplane and you get to the country just for the sole purpose of doing a big old gernzo and, and you just want to see where it goes and how it spins, whether it is in line with the way the clock spins or in reverse, you are a dead set fucking goose, all right? Ooh. Fuck you, goose goose, hong hong. Number nine, don't try and use the Aussie slang. Don't come up to an Australian and say, G'day, mate. Or even come up to one of the street and say, How are you going, mate? Because you don't understand the vernacular here. The vernacular is... How are you going, mate? Way, okay? It's not, G'day, mate. It's, G'day, mate. G'day, so, mate. G'day, mate. No. G'day, mate. How you going? How you going? How you going? Nice and quick. G'day, mate. How are you going, mate? Is, How you going, mate? How you going, mate? G'day, mate. How you going, mate? G'day, mate. How you going, mate? All right? I don't know. So they fucking hard. And number 10, we are here. The last thing that you don't want to say to an Australian is, oh, I don't want to go there. It's too dangerous. The animals are too dangerous. <laughs> Bitch, are you serious? Sure, we've got some dangerous animals <laughs> like redbacks, funnel webs, taipans, brown snakes, the fucking big fuck off emus, cassowaries, apparently. They live here as well. Never seen one. Whatever. Blue ring octopuses, massive fucking crocodiles, huge fucking great white sharks. But at least every dickhead and his dog doesn't have a semi-automatic weapon that can mow down 40 fucking people in 30 seconds. So in Australia, basically all you have to do is check your shoes for redbacks, and then you don't have to worry about getting shot in the fucking head in the movies. Sounds fair? But there is a group of animals that you need to be aware of if you come here. They are disgusting, freak-like animals. Mm. And you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Australian cyclists. And this video called my... Australian cyclists. I don't want to say Australian legend because he is doing something very illegal. And I don't agree with illegal things. So don't do this at home. Don't do this on the road. But this was fucking hilarious. What's the point of us spending this money if you're not going to use it, you fucking dickheads? Fuck off! Fuck you. Use the fucking bike track, you dumb cunt! Oh my lord! Hilarious! Jeez. Well done, 
sir. Australian of the Year goes to that man. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. And I'll see you on Monday, you good fucking human beings. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I don't know. Send me something because it's fucking hot in here. I just ate a spicy meal with jalapenos and I'm sweating, motherfuckers. Oh, my Lord. Uh, that's all we got. <laughs> You got a favorite video suggestion. You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, Dino. Out. Oh.